Good morning children. This is my second video on the chapter Language of Chemistry. We continue with the topic Law of Conservation of Mass. The Law of Conservation of Mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. That is, the amount of matter does not change before and after the reaction. Now, all chemical reactions follow this law of conservation of mass. For this reason, all chemical equation which represents a chemical reaction should always be balanced. A balanced chemical equation is one in which the number of atoms involved in a reactant side is equal to the number of atoms in the product side. Now, here are the steps involved in balancing a chemical equation. Step number one is we write down first the molecular equation. We then note down the number of atoms of each element present on the reactant side and the product side. Finally, we compare the number of atoms of each element on both sides and choose a coefficient to balance the number of atoms of each element one by one. This method of balancing a chemical equation is called as the hit and trial method of balancing a chemical equation. Children, while balancing a chemical equation, these are the two things that you should keep in mind. That is, the formula of the product formed after a chemical reaction does not depend upon the number of atoms available on the left hand side, that is the reactant side. The formula of the product compound formed is always a result of exchange of valency of component elements. Next, Remember, when balancing an equation, only change the coefficient. Never change the subscript. Okay? Now, I will explain you balancing of chemical equation with the help of few examples. Now, carefully watch these videos. Let's start with the first example, hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen burns in presence of oxygen to give you steam. Steam is water itself. The molecular formula of steam and water is the same because it's the same compound. Now, I write down the molecular equation for this chemical reaction. Hydrogen plus oxygen gives you water. The molecular formula of water is H2O. Now, we make a list of all the elements on the left hand side and all the elements on the right hand side. Make sure the sequence of elements on the left hand side and the right hand side is the same. Now we tabulate the number of atoms of each element on both sides. Hydrogen here is 2, oxygen here is 2, here hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is only 1. Now let's check. Hydrogen atoms on the left hand side is 2, on the right hand side is also 2. So, hydrogen atom is balanced on both sides of the equation. Oxygen on the left hand side, that is the reactant side is 2 and oxygen on the product side is 1. So, we multiply oxygen with such a coefficient that the number of atoms becomes the same on both the sides. So, I multiply with 2 and it becomes 2. Two. So now oxygen is balanced. But since oxygen and hydrogen are present in same compound, so whatever coefficient I multiply over here, the same coefficient hydrogen also gets multiplied automatically. The same coefficient. So now the product over here is 2 to the 4. So hydrogen atom is 4, oxygen is 2. Here oxygen is 2 but hydrogen is 2 over here and hydrogen now we find that it is not balanced. So we multiply with another coefficient that is 2 to the 4. Now you find that after multiplying with 2 on the left hand side for hydrogen, 4 atoms of hydrogen on the left hand side, 4 on the right hand side. 
oxygen 2 on the left hand side and 2 on the right hand side. Now the question is that I have multiplied both hydrogen and oxygen with 2 but I have not done the same this side. Why? Because hydrogen and oxygen are different reactants over here. They are not present in the same molecule. Okay? So, I write this number over here. 2 and 2 over here. Now, you can find that 2 twos are 4, 4 atoms of hydrogen this side. 2 twos are 4, 4 atoms of hydrogen this side. Oxygen is 2 and 2 ones are 2. So, now this equation is balanced. Okay? An example that we take is formation of ammonia. Nitrogen plus hydrogen forms ammonia. N2 plus H2 gives you NH3. This is the formula of ammonia. So now I write down the elements nitrogen, hydrogen on the left hand side. On the right hand side I write down nitrogen and hydrogen. Same sequence of element on the left hand side and the right hand side. So nitrogen is 2, hydrogen is 2. Here nitrogen is 1, hydrogen is 3. Now we see that both the sides none of the element is balanced. Now uh, the number of atoms on the left hand side and the right hand side are different. Okay. So now let's start with nitrogen. 2 on this side and this is 1. So what do I do? I multiply with 2 on this side. I will be getting 2 atoms of nitrogen. When I multiply nitrogen on the right hand side with 2, automatically this hydrogen also gets multiplied with 2 since nitrogen and hydrogen are present in the same compound. So hydrogen becomes 6. Now I multiply this hydrogen with 3 and it becomes 6. So now we see nitrogen is 2, nitrogen is 2 on the right hand side also. Left hand side hydrogen is 6 and hydrogen is 6 here also. So this was a coefficient that I have multiplied ammonia with. So 2 I write over here and this 3, I use this 3 to multiply just hydrogen as hydrogen and nitrogen are different reactants. They react together to form ammonia. Okay, so now this is balanced. The third example that I have taken is hydrogen in presence of chlorine react to give you hydrogen chloride. So I write down H2 plus Cl2 giving you HCl. Okay, now write down the elements, hydrogen, chlorine, this side also hydrogen, chlorine, tabulate the number of atoms, 2, 2, this side 1, this side 1. So I multiply hydrogen with 2 over here, hydrogen becomes 2. Now 2 atoms on of hydrogen on the left hand side as well as the right hand side, it is balanced. Chlorine automatically on the right hand side, it will get multiplied with 2 because they are present in the same molecule. So, this is also 2. I multiply, uh, I need not multiply chlorine with any number because chlorine here is 2 and here is 2. So, both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side now is balanced. I put 2 over here. Hydrogen chloride. So, two atoms of hydrogen, two atoms of chlorine. Two atoms of hydrogen, two atoms of chlorine. The equation is balanced. Students, this is your assignment for today. Here are these few examples, five in number. Now, this you are going to do in your chemistry files. Practice in rough copy first and then neatly do it in your chemistry file. That's all for today. Thank you and bye-bye.